It was a cool spring evening on the island of Sodor, and the engines were all gathered at the sheds for a special announcement. I'm pleased to announce that His Majesty the King will be visiting Sodor for a special celebration. The engines were very excited. He will be pulling the royal train. Of course, I will be taking it. The king would love to be pulled by a smart-looking engine. Yes, and a rather vain and arrogant one if you ask me. Oh, shut up, Thomas. Shuttle down, all of you. Now, the engine that will pull the royal train will be Gordon. All the engines were excited, but none were as excited as Gordon. The next day, he pulled into the big station, boasting even more than usual. Make way for the most important engine on the railway. Now listen, Gordon. Just because you're taking the king's train doesn't mean you have the right to boast at every station. <clears throat> now, Jock, if you were an important express engine, you would understand. Now hurry up and fetch my coaches. Gordon was still boasting when he arrived at Croven's Gate. The passengers couldn't take it and stormed out of the coaches. We won't ride in an engine like this, they said. That evening, the Fat Controller came to see Gordon. Gordon, I've had several complaints about your boastfulness today. Your arrogance must stop or you will not be pulling the royal train. And with that, the Fat Controller walked away. The next day, Gordon arrived at Wellsworth with the express. Henry's taking the return train. The Fat Controller has asked us to pull a goods train. A goods train? Royal engines don't pull goods trains. Isn't there another engine available? I'm sorry, Gordon, but the Fat Controller chose you. Gordon's face grew very red as he steamed off to the goods yard. As soon as he was coupled up to the train, he had an idea. What happened next, no one knew, but Gordon suddenly started moving backwards. He didn't realize that Donald was resting on a siding. Donald's crew jumped clear as the whole train crashed into the buffers. No one was hurt, but Donald was really angry. Gordon, what was that for? I hope your hurricanes will get the better of you. A few minutes later, the Fat Controller arrived at the scene. He did not look happy. Gordon, words cannot describe how angry I am with you. Now Donald won't be able to attend the royal ceremony. Not only will you not be pulling the royal train, but you will not be pulling any passengers for two months. The Fat Controller left, leaving Gordon with a lot to think about. A few days later, the king arrived. The Fat Controller had asked James to pull the train, and of course, he was very proud. Old Slowcoach was part of the train as well, as the king's special coach. The king climbed aboard the train, the guard blew his whistle and waved his flag, and James puffed away. All was well until they reached Ellsbridge. A signalman waved down the train. The line up ahead is blocked. I don't think any trains will get through here for a long time. Just then, Gordon arrived. He was on his way to the celebration as well. You know, if you want to go to Knapford, you could take the branch line. I don't know if that line is strong enough to support an engine of your size. It's a bit risky, but the king must get to Knapford. So, James switched onto the alternate line, Gordon buffered up to the back of the train, and off they went. They arrived at Knapford to thunderous applause. Gordon and James slowed to a stop, the king got off the train, and gave his speech. When he was finished, he spoke to Gordon and thanked him for his bravery. all the engines blew their whistles in excitement.